Hey, how's it going, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to send an email with attachments using Outlook with Microsoft Graph API in Python. Before we dive into the tutorial, uh, let's look at the documentation first. So to send an email, we'll be using the uh, send mail method. And the method requires using the mail.send permission set. And we'll make the API call. This is what the endpoint is going to look like. So we can uh, use me to reference our account. Or if I send an email on behalf of a user, they will need to change the endpoint to users, followed by the user's email address, followed by the method name. As for the request headers, we need to provide the token to the authorization. Content type is optional since the default is already set to application JSON uh, format. And for the uh, request body, we need to include a message object and save to send items is optional. Uh, this just means that whether you want to save a copy to your uh, send items folder. All right, so let's go into my Python script. All right, so from the import statement, I'm going to import the OS module. And let me increase the font size. And to attach attachments, I'll be uh, importing the base64 library. And to make an API request, I'm going to import the requests library. Oh, so uh, for the authentication, I wrote a module called ms underscore graph. Basically, uh, I create a function to simplify the token generation process. And you can find the source code in the link in the description below. All right, so from the MS Graph module, I'm going to import the function, and the function is going to be called generate access token. So to generate the access token, we need to provide the app ID. And let me grab the app ID. Then we need to uh, specify the scopes. I'm going to supply two scopes. The first one is going to be the mail.send scope. And the other one is going to be mail.rewrite scope. Now here let me generate the access token. So I'm going to name the output access token. Then I'm going to insert the generate access token function. And this function takes the app ID and the scopes. All right, so if I go ahead and run this code block, And it's going to ask me to authenticate my account. And once I've verified my account, I can close the tab. At this point, I have my access token generator. Now I want to create two functions. So let me go back to the top. And this function is going to store the attachment into an attachment object. Now name the function draft attachment. And for the parameter, we're going to ask for the file path. All right, so inside the function, I'm going to check whether or not the file exists. So I'm going to say if not .path exists, and giving the file path. If the condition is met, then we know file is not found. Then we exit the function. Otherwise, we'll create the attachment object. So we open, open the file, as uh, rebinding. And I'll name this as upload. Basically, we're going to convert the file into uh, byte strings. So I'm going to use base64 library dot b64 in code function. Then I'm going to supply the file using the upload.read method. 
and now name the output as media content. Now I'm going to construct my attachment object. And basically, uh, it's a request JSON body. And I'll name the JSON body data body. Inside the data body object, let me scroll down a little bit. We need to specify the request type using the at o data dot type. And the type name is going to be pound Microsoft dot graph dot file attachment. And make sure that the letter A is uppercase. Then we need to attach the uh, byte strings using the content bytes property. And it's going to be media content dot decode. And we need to convert this to UTF dash eight. And the last item I'm going to supply is the file name. And for the file name, I'm simply going to grab the file base name using the os.path.base name function. Then I'll insert the uh, file path. Then I'm going to return the JSON body. All right, so let me go ahead and create a function in memory. Now going back to the script, I want to create my headers. And it's going to be authorization. And we need to insert bear space followed by the access token. Now if we go back to the documentation, so uh, here's an example of the request body. And we have several examples. And based on your use case, you may need to add more fields. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, create my request body JSON body. And I'll name the object as request body. Inside the request body object, we need to specify the object type. And it's going to be message. Then I want to uh, specify the recipients using the to recipients property. And it's going to be a list because we can include multiple recipients in an email. And insert notes, recipients list. So for each recipient, we are going to create a dictionary object. Inside the dictionary object, we need to uh, specify the recipient's email by using the email address property. Inside the property, we need to insert address followed by the email address. All right, so I'm going to send the email to my dummy account. Now, if I want to include additional recipients, you can simply copy this dictionary object and just copy and paste and modify the email address. All right, so the next item is going to be the email subject. And the property is going to be subject. And I'll name this as you got an email. And if I want to set the email's uh, urgency, we can use the importance property. And I'll set this to normal for now. And for the email body, I'm going to insert a dictionary. And we can specify the content type to uh, plain text or HTML. And for this exercise, I'm actually going to set this to HTML. And for the message, we're going to use the contents key. And let's say I want to say, uh, be awesome. I want to make the font bold. And finally, to include the attachments. Here, let me insert notes. Include attachments. 
I'm going to insert the attachments property. And it's going to be a list. And to attach the attachments. So here I have two files that I want to include in my email attachments. One is this uh, hello.txt file. And the other one is this uh, image file. And to attach each file, I'm going to insert the draft attachment function. Then I'll provide the file path. And this one should be image.png. Now I've draft my request body. The only thing left to do is to uh, send the post request. But first we need to figure out the graphs API endpoint. And I'll create a variable called graph endpoint. And the endpoint URL is going to be https graph.microsoft.com followed by the API version. And it's going to be v1.0. And for the actual endpoint that we're going to make a request to, we're going to combine the graph API endpoint. And it's going to be me slash send mail. Right, so to send the email, I'm going to make a request call. And it's going to be a post request. First, I'm going to insert the endpoint, headers, and the request body. All right, so if I, here, uh, let's do this. I'm going to insert if statement. I want to check the response status code. Oh, so you have a typo. And for the uh, post request, it's going to be 202, meaning that the message has been sent successfully. Then I want to print message, email sent. Otherwise, I want to print the reason why the request uh, failed. Now I'm going to uh, terminate this session. And based on the generate access token function, every time when you uh, authenticate your account, it's going to create this uh, API token file that store the session. Now I can simply run the script while going to the authentication step again. All right, so why press F5 to run the script? And here I already got this email send message. Now if I go into my email account, Give me a second. And here's the email that's sent by the Python script. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.